up and down the floor. Let's take a step back and go back to the original question. The original question is saying the polygon shown above is regular. What is the sum of angles x and y? So I need to find out what angle x is. In order to find out what angle x is, it would be really, really helpful, I mean extremely helpful, if I knew um, what this angle is here. And if I knew what this angle is here. Now the only benefit that I have is I know that it's regular, which means all the angles here are the same. So if I know this one is going to be the same as this one, that's, that's good to know. Well, I just found out that the whole thing is made up of 540 degrees because we divide into three triangles. So I'm saying to myself that the whole thing is 540 and I got five angles here and they're all the same. Well, what's the average angle? Well, that would be 540 divided by five. All right, so now you're going to blow me away with your skills and find out what is 540 divided by 5. And if you get stuck on this, there's a whole bunch of different ways of thinking about this. One way is called the chip away strategy, which a uh, fourth grader that I once knew explained it to me in detail. And it's a cool strategy because sometimes you make mistakes when you're doing this. And I don't want you to do a calculator. I want you to do it out the long way. The chip away strategy works like this. 5 goes into 540 how many times? And in case I didn't want to do the long division, or I didn't, wasn't that good at long division, and you know I, I wasn't you know 100% confident on you know how I would, how, um, excuse me, how I get to the answer with long division. There's another way to get to 108. The chip away allows you to say five goes into it about 500 times. So five times 100 is 500, and then I chip that away from the 540. So I know it goes into it 100 times now. 5 goes into 48 times, and then I multiply that by 8, 40, I get to my 0. Okay, so I've just found out when I add all these up, 5 goes in 108 times evenly. So I found out that this angle here is 108, using an alternative strategy for division. Alright, so I got this as 108, then I go back to my core idea that two angles that form a straight line are supplementary angles. So if this and that means they add up to 180 degrees. So if this is 108, this must be 72. Because I did 180 minus 72, I'm sorry, minus 108 got me to 72. So x is 72. And the supplement of 108 over here is going to be the same thing, 72. So 72 plus 72, well, you know what? It's not that I don't know this, but I want you to think about it too. So I want you to also, as we go through this, I want you to pause it frequently and think about this problem. There's a lot of math here. We talked about polygons and regular polygons. We talked about uh, the difference between regular and irregular polygons. We talked about how to get the angles of a of a tri uh, the total angles of a triangle, square, pentagon, octagon. We also discussed ways to find out the interior angle angles of these different polygon shapes. You know, I take the total, in this case 380 for a triangle, I divide it by 3, I come up with each interior angle of a regular three-sided polygon, or aka triangle, is 60. I could do the same thing for a square, get 90, and we, we move onward. This problem has a lot of applications. Start here, use this as your basics, okay? All right, team. I'm hoping that you uh, enjoy these videos and that you, uh, you come to one of the workshops if you need extra help. The workshops are designed for teachers that need an overview of the core concepts and need to put the pieces together. And I think that having that live experience um, is critical because it makes you think on the spot. Um, so definitely attend one of the new workshops that are coming up this fall. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, team. Um, take care. Bye-bye.
jumping up and down the floor. My hair is an animal, and once there was an animal, it had a sound that mowed the lawn.